What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Wadi here and today I've got a movement guide where we go over every single movement that you can do on console. We go from the basics of slide jumping all the way up into mantle jumping and super gliding. I also go over how to do the movement, where to practice it in the range, and how to implement it into fights. I also show a third person view of what it looks like so you know what you're doing. Additionally, throughout the guide, I will say A and B, and obviously I'm on Xbox, so A is jump and B is crouch. Anyway, guys, if you do like this video and it does help you out, please leave a like and help me get into the algorithm. And also, if you are new around here, please consider subscribing. Let's get right into it. So I separated this into three separate parts. I've got the beginner movement, the intermediate movement, and advanced movement. And I'm going to put timestamps in the description so you can skip to certain ones. So first things first, the controller that I use is an Elite Series 2. I use all buttons on the back. And then I also use hold for crouch. And then I have auto sprint on. Those settings I think are very important to, to use for movement. You can do them without them, but I think that certain movement is going to be harder without especially the hold for crouch. All right, first things first is a slide jump. So for a slide jump, all you do is you run, hold B, and press A. I'm going to do all this tutorial with B on or crouch on hold. So you just run. You got to gain enough velocity or enough momentum. You're going to hold B and just press A, and that's a slide jump. So it's super simple. You want to be doing this as much as possible running through the map because you actually run faster or you just move faster in general and you can get around the map faster. All right, let's talk about how you can use a slide jump in a fight. Let's say this person is, and let's just say this is a corner right here. Someone's pre-aiming me. A way that I can move around that corner is just slide around it and then just shoot like that. So instead of just going like this, let's say there's a corner right here. Instead of just peeking around and just most likely getting beamed, unless you're Gibby with an arm shield, you can just slide jump around with your gun out and ADS and beam them around the corner. So that's a really basic movement tech that's really important. This is the third person slide jump. Just the basic movement tech. All right, next basic movement tech is a I'm going to call it a zip hop. It's basically where you interact with the zip and just press A. So you're going to press X and A. For uh, PlayStation, it's square and then X, I think. So it's like that. Just a normal zip hop. If your sensitivity is fast enough, you can also do this. Which is like a double zip or you can do a triple. And that can help you get out of certain situations. Obviously, it's very useful in all the zip buildings to zip hop. Along with zip hopping with pressing A, you can press B. So let's say if we go up here, if you do this and press A, it's going to send you forward a lot. If you do this and press B, it's going to send you down. See how it sends you down? So if you're coming out the bottom of like a fragment building and you want to go down, you press B. If you want to go up, press A. This is what a zip hop looks like. All right, next movement tech that we're gonna be talking about is air strafing. And air strafing is exactly what you think it is. It's strafing in the air. I'm gonna be playing Horizon for this. Horizon's passive, of course, is increase air strafing. The way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna be moving you're going to put your left stick, your movement stick, all the way to the left or right or diagonally. And then you're going to guide it slightly with your right stick. If you don't, it's going to it's going to go like this. Like you're just going to kind of move all the way around. And it, you're not going to strafe as much. But if you guide it, you can kind of like make 90 degree turns in the air. And if you have enough air, you can make 180 degree turns. This is also really good if you're playing Octane, because you can take a pad like this. And kind of strafe out of situations. This is also used for some higher tech movement. 
This is what air strafing looks like. All right, next thing that we're gonna be talking about is just strafing in general. What strafe should you be using when you're fighting someone? So there's a lot of different differing opinions on this, but of course, no one thinks that you should be strafing like this. If you're strafing like this, especially on console, somebody's aim assist is just gonna pick you up. It's just not, it's not a wide enough strafe to actually have you missing bullets. So a strafe that I like to do is I like to do a long strafe because a lot of really high skill movement players are used to this strafe, just a left to right. So what you should do, in my opinion is I like to do the left and then all the way you know like left you go right crouch back and then go all the way uh, you can do a long strafe but try and vary up the length and get into a long strafe I think that long strafing is very underrated you can throw some crouches in there and then go all the way because a lot of people don't expect it coming at all all right, we're going to be going on to the next tier, which is intermediate tier. And this is going to cover a couple of different movement techs. The first one that we're going to be talking about is how to bunny hop. So if we're talking about bunny hopping, this is what it looks like. It can be long, it can be short, but what the basis of bunny hopping is you're holding B and you're just tapping A. So slide. Just tap A. If you just go straight, you can go for a pretty long time, but you're gonna lose momentum. If you want to get a better bunny hop, you can implement strafing and you can strafe left to right. And you're gonna keep momentum for as long as you want. Also, you can end up doing this backwards too. Bunny hopping is really hard to implement into fights. It's not gonna give you too much of an advantage, but you can see if I bunny hop, obviously you're initiating a slide jump and then you go into a bunny hop. The hardest thing is your reticle will bounce everywhere while you're bouncing. So look like this. So it'll kind of bounce up and down. If someone is farther than like five meters, it's really hard and it can get you killed. But I like bunny hopping across places. Let's say someone's holding an angle from over here and I'm trying to run through here. I can just hit a bunny hop right through. It's, I'm just a little harder than just running like this. So I would say it's kind of better used getting across certain places or running away from someone. Like someone shooting me across the corner. I don't want to just run. I can just bunny hop across these corners instead of using it as a pushing tactic. It's not as effective or as efficient. The way that you can implement it is you can do a longer bunny hop and it will look like this. So you kind of just wait a little bit in between the bunny hops and it'll, it'll just be a little more consistent. It can get your slide, it can elongate your slide a little bit more. This is what bunny hopping looks like. Next movement tech that we're going to be talking about is right here this is the best place to practice it it's a wall jump so a wall jump all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be running sliding you're gonna hit the wall and then you're gonna move your stick so like my stick is forward right now and then I'm gonna hit the wall you're gonna feel the interact and then you're gonna jump and press backwards at the same time so it's gonna be like this you can do it straight on you can do it from any side it's basically just hitting it and you move your stick along with where you want your momentum to go. So I want it to go back to the left. Now I want it to go back to the right. I'm gonna do that. If you do the opposite, it's gonna look a little bit different. See how my momentum doesn't fully transfer this way and I kind of I go backwards. So you can use that when you're trying to, you know, push an opponent right here. Let's say there's an opponent right here. Best way to, to do it. And I want to come back. Let's say there's cover right here. 
Or if you want to go past them, you just go all the way. So your stick is carrying the momentum where you want to go. Jump, slide, interact. And when you're in the air, I would say that's when your stick should start moving in the direction that you want to go. You can also wall jump on smaller surfaces or smaller walls like this. Like I used to practice all the time right here. These ones are really good to practice on because they are definitely smaller. You just have to be a little bit more careful. You can also practice right here. Go into that. That's a good place to practice your wall jumps. I d you can also practice on Listen, the back of these here. as well. You know. So let's say I want to move back. See, see how I didn't carry my momentum over here? I moved my stick back towards my, uh, or just backwards. This is what a wall jump looks like. All right, the next movement tech that we're going to be talking about is it's I'm going to call it the mantle slide or the ASU slide. I'm not sure what the correct term is for it, but I learned it from ASU way, way, way back. And all that is, is you're going to be mantling. As soon as you mantle, you can slide. And this is a super, super underrated movement tech. I don't see a ton of people utilizing this. It just generates a lot of, of movement speed and you can do it over any surface that's mantle, mantleable. I don't even know if that's a word. Anyway, if you can mantle it, you can do this movement tech. So you instantly mantle and then you slide. As soon as you get up, you slide. We're gonna be going over super glides later, but this is a very good substitute for super glides and you get an, a comp like a comparable amount of speed from it. You can practice it, you can move in a direction. And it's very, very good to like if you're if you're running into a place, if you're trying to run away and you know you're not gonna hit a super glide, you can just start mantle sliding, ASU sliding. I know I know there's a correct term for it, but you also don't have to like walk up the whole thing. It could be like you're just jumping up like this and sliding across. All right, the next type of movement that you can implement into your gameplay is called a wall climb or a door climb. This can be used when there's someone, let's say I'm fighting right around here and they're coming up. It's like any surface where they're gonna expect you like right around here, you can climb up and then you can press either B or A to get off. If you want more momentum backwards, you're gonna just press A and you're gonna come down and uh, Basically, it's basically just to surprise the enemy. It's really easy. So if you just press B, you're going to drop down. If you press A and, and hold backwards, you're going to surprise the enemy and just... You can implement that into some other tech right there. It's a bunny hop, just a slide. Alright, we're going to be moving on to the advanced section. This section, some of them take a little bit of practice and some of them are inhibited because of console and its frame rate. But the first one that we're going to be going over. All right. So this is a fatigue jump. So when you're normally jumping, you jump relatively high, but you get fatigued and you can't jump that high. So you take that jump. You can jump once and then use it to wall bounce. You can also do it off a slide. It'll kind of look like this. But basically you're fatiguing your jump and then you're and then you're basically wall wall jumping. Now what a fakey wall jump looks like, I'm just gonna call it that. I don't know what the real term is. It's basically like a lame wall bounce, is you're not fatiguing your jump and you're just jumping off. This is still good and this is this will catch someone off guard, especially if they're pressing you. They're pushing you from here across the corner and I can slide across and beam them. So to do this, all you're gonna do is jump up against the wall and then just hit A and move backwards. 
And then I would recommend sliding or else you're not really going to do much. You're just going to do that. But then you can also, if you find like a good surface, you can basically do that into a, a wall jump. I don't know if there's a good place to practice this. We'll just say right here. So you can still use that, that wall jump. It's a very good initial movement to use if someone's pressing you and, and they just know you're going to be there. This is what fatigue wall bounces look like. Alright, the next movement that we're going to be talking about is a super jump. And what a super jump is, is you are interacting with the zipline with your square or X. And then you double tap your A to basically get a super jump. And that's what it looks like. This one is a little bit harder on console because of the frame rate. The, the higher the frame rate goes, the easier this is. But it basically gets you height on your jump so the super jump can also be used on a horizontal zip line like i mean kind of like this instead of a vertical one and the same thing applies you're just going to press x and then double jump to interact all right so you're just going to set a zip line across and you're just going to press x and double tap a and you're just going to super jump so that's the best place to practice it right here or on one of these ones if you're trying to practice movement for like let's just say one of the fragment buildings the best use of this in a fight is of course in a zipline building you're going to be using this one to super jump up and peek at someone or if someone's above something or you're just trying to throw someone off you can just super jump and then get right into a fight all right the next movement tech that we're going to be talking about is super gliding and this is super popular on console especially because the lower your frame rate is the easier this is to do so for 60 fps it's actually easier to do now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a place where you can mantle and as soon as you are to the top of your mantle you are going to hold crouch and jump simultaneously and it will send you flying just like that so what I do, I'm going to go through and basically talk about my process. I press, I press jump. I press like forward and jump. So I'm climbing up. And then as soon as I get to the very top, I press, I just press A and B. You can press A and B or you can hold A and B. All right. So you can also do a directional super glide and that can be to like diagonally or it can be straight to the side and all you're gonna do is as soon as you get up you're going to move your left stick in the direction that you want to go and then to super glide sideways you go all the way to the right and then if you play someone like horizon you can air strafe like like backwards you can do a super glide over any surface that you can mantle and then you can also chain it together with a portal punching a tunnel portal placed placing a portal additionally you can super glide into a wall bounce all right the best way to practice super gliding is these platforms right here this small platform right here if you want to do sideways ones i do it on this one a lot but another good way is to just put down rampart shields because they are a pretty consistent height. Alright, the final movement tech that we're going to be talking about is mantle jumping. And this is the hardest movement tech for console players because of the super jump. Basically, we'll go through it. But anyway, it's going to be the hardest one to learn. So don't beat yourself up if it's hard to learn. You're going to feel like your buttons button mashing pretty hard at the beginning. But the more you try, the more you're going to just get it down and get the rhythm of it. And you'll get it eventually, I promise. But there's three different places that you can mantle jump. The first one is right there. The second one's going to be this pillar right here.
And then the last spot that you're gonna be able to mantle jump is this one right up here. One little thing to say is the distance between the, let's just say, the place that you're mounting and the zip line in game is going to be a little bit further out compared to the one that we're practicing here. I think that this one gives a little bit more realistic um, mantle jump compared to this, but this is a really good spot to learn. And so I'm gonna break this up into a couple of steps. The first one is just the mantle. So obviously when you're mantling, you're gonna be seeing this little, we'll just call this the horizontal plane. So you're gonna see that horizontal plane as soon as you mantle up on a spot like this what I recommend doing is when you're getting off the zipline to mantle get off earlier than later because you want the climbing animation to be longer you want it to be easier on you because what you're doing is as soon as you see this horizontal plane on a mantle you're going to be canceling the mantle by pressing backwards on your joystick it doesn't have to be a full backwards it just needs to be a little backwards so basically right here that's what it's going to look like as soon as you see that this this horizontal plane right here you want to cancel the mantle so first thing so you take that like your mantle your mantle canceling then you do it right here and you practice the early mantle all right you want to you want to get on as early as you can all right, the next thing that you want to practice is the mantle cancel. That's that right there. Along with that motion with the mantle cancel, you're going to be, as soon as you mantle, look down as well. And then cancel. 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 The next thing that you're going to be implementing is you're going to come up here. You're gonna come up here and you're gonna practice super jumping by interacting behind you. The way that I learned this is I'm holding X, I'm holding my interact button the whole entire time and then I'm double tapping A. So that wasn't a super jump and that's the hardest part about it is getting that super jump from down here. But learn how to super jump from that. So one quick tip as well, when you're going up the zip line, instead of clicking X, getting on, then doing, then trying to do the mantle jump and then clicking X again or whatever your interact is, just hold that button the entire time. So I get up on this, I hold it the entire time, I hold X the entire time, and then when I look back, I don't have to press X again to interact with that zip line. I'm just holding already so it'll interact for me. That made it 10 times easier for me. So that entire time I was going up, I was holding X and as soon as I look down and when I mantled and canceled, I'm already holding X and then all I have to do is the super jump. So you're gonna tie all those movements together and it's gonna look like this. All right, this last part that we're gonna be talking about is I'm just going to put it the other tab because these are all little niche movement techs or just implementation of movement together. All right, the next movement we're talking about is the fade slide or the basically the quick slide. The way that you're going to do this is you're going to be, and, and this is what situation is going to work, you're going to be basically fighting someone or baiting someone out here. You're going to bait their ammo all the way out. And the way fade does it, and so this is gonna be I, I'm gonna talk about it is you're gonna be crouched then you're gonna unholster your gun and then you're gonna basically gonna be able to instant instantly slide kind of like that so you're shooting baiting shots and then get right out there the next small movement is what I call edge sliding. This is like when you have an edge right here, it could be a railing or any other edge, and you can just run and jump and slide off. So I jump, I hold crouch, and you kind of just get a little bit of momentum off, off, a, off a ledge, which is a ledge slide. Instead of having to slide into it, you just have a little bit of momentum off a ledge. 
along with edge sliding, um, you can do something in a fight, which is, I mean, it's kind of like, it's not edge sliding at all. It's basically just bunny hopping in a fight, but you don't need to slide to start the bunny hop. You just need to, like, you can be fighting like this and then you can be moving in one direction and then just jump and then just start bunny hopping. Right? So I can be shooting, shooting, jumping, and then don't get caught in that, but just jump and you can bunny hop around instantly. The next tech that we're going to be talking about is called the Lyric Slide. And Lyric is the first person and probably the only person that I see doing this. It's where you, I'm sure you guys have done this on accident, but you just basically are sliding and you just keep on sliding like that. And then you can do it like if you're coming across a corner and then you can start shooting. It allows you to shoot your gun instantly instead of like having this animation and then like you can't you can't shoot instantly instead of and you can shoot instantly on that. Personally, I wouldn't recommend doing the lyric slide. And also to do this, you're just going to be pressing forward and then tapping B or tapping your crouch. But it can't it doesn't work in any other direction. So you can't do sideways. Uh, you can't do backwards. It only works when you're moving your momentum forwards and then tapping B. The... Alright, the next movement tech is with Octane or with any other legend that has a movement boost. This can be done with Maggie with her uh, with her ball. It can be done with Bangalore with her passive. It can be done with Bloodhound and their passive. So it's called the instant slide. Ready, set, go. So you can slide instantly out of anything. You don't need to you don't need to have any momentum. You can just instantly slide. See how you instantly slide? Come across the corner. Slide in if you want. But it's just one of those things that's very specific. If you're playing a knockdown shield, this can be useful. You're playing a knockdown shield. Slide out and go into a fight. So that's just another little niche movement. And then the last one isn't very movement related, but it is the way to make your hitbox the smallest possible. So let's just say you're up here and you're 1v1ing. And you're on the head glitch right here. The way that you can get your hitbox the smallest is by crouching and looking down. And I'm going to go into third person to illustrate what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Let's just say you're in a fight right here. Your head glitch is going to be like this, okay? If you want your head glitch to or your, your body to be even more compact than that, you're going to look down and you can just move left to right. If you're not moving, you're going to be sitting straight up. This can be done without a gun as well, just to make your hitbox as small as possible. And it can also be done while healing. Recharging my shields. So if you know you're on like just a fence or something and they can barely see you, like this, look down and move around. Need to recharge my shields. You're done with anything. It looks really weird, but just this is actually a really it. useful tip. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try and get to it. Also, if you are new around here, consider subscribing. And if the video did help you out, please leave a like to help me get into the algorithm. I've given you guys all the basics to mastering movement. Hopefully you guys can become a movement god and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.